Greetings. Today I would like to do a quick little video about how to safely fly a big bird dog P4K upside down. So for example, if you need to use this for um, top down shots, uh, overhead, whatever you want to call it, you know, it is um, handy to be able to hang it upside down. But as you may have seen in my prior video where I unboxed it, one of the problems with the P4K is that it does not have any way to directly attach a safety cable to it, which means, you know, it's a little bit of heebie-jeebies when you are hanging it upside down. And so, <clears throat> I did a little bit of poking around. I mean, obviously, if you're a good machinist or something, you could make your own bracket for it. But it happens to be that if you purchase their ceiling kit mount for it, that um, <clears throat> it has an attachment point for a safety cable. So if you give me a moment to get it down. All right, now, I mean, one of the first things when you're hanging a camera like this, you know, like I say, it's about seven and a half pounds. You want to make sure that whatever you're hanging it from is set up for a being or is capable of, of that weight. I'm using an old um, 3090 Super Boom here. I can, you know, complete with the... Um, 15 pound counterweight and this is you know was rated for 15 pounds at full extension and I'm not at full extension so that's clearly got enough and if I take this down cable is catching on stuff So the camera I have hanging with a little baby pin to one quarter 20 adapter that actually came with the super bam, boom. And hopefully you can see it's got the, the safety cable here and the safety cable is going to the camera mounting kit. So if we ceiling mounting kit. Take this off and then unclip you can see a little awkward. So if we unscrew the baby pin adapter what you can see is is that there's actually three screws that separate or surround the one quarter 20 in the center so they're providing support for it hanging uh, when it's hanging upside down obviously if it's sitting upright then supports internal and the camera mounting kit is comprised of two plates it's got one plate that screws on there's a screw here in the center and then one up kind of up here one kind of over here and then it's got the it's this this plate slides on or slides off and then you can see um, it's got these slats that are what really hold it in place and there's a lot of friction holding this right now in fact partly because of this rear foot up here causes a lot of friction so if you don't press up on the tab here itself actually it doesn't even really want to move to lock or unlock uh, furthermore when you have that quarter inch to baby pin adapter in here you can see this screw hole or the, the cutout hole is not particularly large and so <clears throat> 
uh, it can't actually slide off um, when that adapter is in here because the adapter is blocking it from moving. And then you've got your little safety pin adapter or clip hole, whatever you want to call it, here for attaching the camera to the safety wire. Um, so not necessarily the most convenient thing, but you know, if you've got an extra hundred bucks to spend on the ceiling mount kit, you can get a safety wire mount for the Bird Dog P4K. Anyway, if you have any questions, please let me know. Thanks. Cheers.